few of us spelling each other on and off, um, coming back and forth and taking to do with the manning of the site. Um, the site's here as a vigil, it's not here as a protest, we're here as a vigil until we, 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 we become an independent nation. Much like yourselves over in Catalonia, we've had enough of being enslaved by a tyrannical system um, out to keep them wealthy, us poor. Um, the reason we're here is to educate the people who seem to still think that they want a no vote. Um, to vote no is to, 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 to admit to being part of this, this union. To be part of the union, part of the you're, you're, yeah, you're part of the problem. Um, we're at war currently over Syria. Nobody wanted to be at war in Syria with Scotland. Uh, Scotland. Seven out of ten Scots actually opposed of Syria bombing as well, so that, that in yeah, itself. Yeah, that in itself speaks volumes. We, yeah. we don't have a voice. Um, as an independent nation, we can, we, can, we can gain our voice again, we can gain our GDP, our money, our money stays in Scotland then, um, and it can be divided between building houses, bringing infrastructure into the country, bringing back all the, the jobs that we've lost, all the industry that we've lost, that they shut down as well. We just need to, we need to be an independent country. We need, we need our money to stay in Scotland, and the people of Scotland to realise that we are being robbed. Yeah, that's like what Cheryl was saying earlier as well when you were interviewing her. We are being, we are being robbed. Simple as that. We, we need our independence, and people need to grasp why we need our independence. We've been, our, our lives are a deception. It's a fraud. Your whole life is based on a fraud. You're led to believe you're a, a, a something that you're not, um, and it needs to stop. People need to grasp that we are born sovereign yeah, on the on the land here. Land. Um, we're all kings and queens within our own right, and as such, to take our independence, they need to grasp that the only way that independence can come to Scotland is to take to the streets, like yourselves. When we do it, we take to the streets like the Catalonians, then independence automatically becomes ours. Hear our voice. It's time to hear our voice, not the government's it. voice, not the media's voice yeah. any longer. The it's about of Scotland us. Need to speak. The people of Scotland need to take to their feet and realise that they are sovereign on the land and declare their independence and recognise each other as being sovereign Scots and take back what is rightfully ours. The land belongs to the Scots. Currently it's been taken from us and sold out in corporate bids and sellers. Uh, who, who are they to take our land from us? The land belongs to the people of Scotland. Um, it cannot, that cannot be changed and they're, and they're, they're, they're just Dictating to us, that's all it is, it's a dictatorship. And it's even self admitted by David Cameron that he is a dictator as well. Yeah. It's, it's, he's it's, even admitted it's to it, it's so he's rubbing wrong. it in our faces basically, yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah, well, we don't want any more wars. We want to set precedence, we want to be a peaceful nation, we want to be one of the nations in the world who can turn around and say, well, the war is wrong. It, 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 and it does nothing to, to benefit anyone other than those who make the bombs, those who make the ships or the boats or whatever it is that's sent in the arsenal, if you want to call it that. Nobody benefits from anything that war makes other than these people. And it costs us billions per year. We're sitting down here, we've got Trident down in Glasgow. Why, why is it not? Why is it up here? Why is it? Why is it? We're spending that, more on Trident than our own people. I mean, we're suffering cut after cut after cut as yep. well. And they're doing, they're doing it to the vulnerable as well, the people that aren't able to go out and just take a walk and all that kind of stuff. And enjoy the land. Uh, aye. Enjoy the land. It's our land. It's our land. And they're taking it away from us. Um, building houses on, uh, in private houses, you, you, where you're deemed you must buy and pay for this house to a company who, who got the land from where? How did the company get the land? It's taking it from us. It's our land. Um, the, the, the wars in the world, are, I mean, America's been at war 222 years out of 239 from its independence. It speaks volumes within itself. That's, that's no record to be proud of. That's no record to be proud of. Scotland needs to grasp that we're a peaceful nation. We are a peaceful nation and we need to remain peaceful. We need to we set precedence and, and let the rest of the world see that nothing is gained through war other than harm and damage and poverty. to say at this moment. Um, it is winter at the moment, so it's a bit... People, I think people, people will be sceptical yeah. about but, coming out in the winter, but yeah. I think summer 
we'll probably be expecting more people. Some are hopefully more people. May the first, May the first, along with Catalonia, we are going for our independence. Um, there's a story through history depicted with that bit of ground over there when it used to be called the King's Park. On the first of May of every year, the people would come down and wash their face in the morning dew on the grass, and all debts would be forgotten. We're going for that. The first of May, all debts for this country shall be forgotten. We will work out with whomever it is that's in power in that building over there. Um, what we go, where we go from there. But we need our independence first before we can do anything about getting anywhere, any further forward. Nothing will ever change until you change it. It's okay saying vote for SNP or vote for the Tories or vote for Labour. Well, vote for whoever you choose to vote for, but what's going to change? Nothing. Until you change the rules and the regulations and the laws, nothing will change. So, it needs to change the rules and the regulations of this country, the laws of this country need to be looked at. And, and, and changed because currently they're, they're only enslaving the people. Yep. That's all. It's just a, it's, that's all it is. It's an enslaving so of the people like, with the masses. E even if you do work or don't those, work. <laughs> yeah, those in England that wish to join us are welcome to come and join us and get away from what is the corporate city of London. We all know it's a corporate city. It's a bank and elite um, that runs this country, and that's all. Same with Washington City, Vatican City, all the cities, banking cartels, modern day gangsters. That's all it is. Well done to you guys. Too many, too many, too many, too many, too many, too